What is going on ladies and gents? My name is Evolution and welcome to my channel. So, welcome to a motor vlog. It's been a while. It's been a while indeed. I guess you could call it the night edition because, well, it's night time. I'm not too sure how well the video is going to come out. Uh, bearing in mind, it's pitch black right now. And I put the GoPro to night time mode, but uh, like low light settings. But last time when I tried this, my camera just literally focused on the dashboard. So on the bright side, like literally, the dashboard was just glowing and you could read the speedometer and the fuel gauge amazingly. But as for everything else, you, you, you couldn't see anything whatsoever. So anyway, I hope everyone's been keeping well, riding safe. I uh, really appreciate the support to the channel despite the super lack of uploads lately. Um, when I have been uploading, you guys have been completely smashing that like button. I've constantly going through comments and receiving messages. It's really nice to see you guys sort of keeping up to date despite there not being any new content about. There's literally so much going on right now with the channel and uh, I don't know how to start. I'm just going to end up in rambling and rambling and rambling and changing topic every two seconds in this video. I can feel it already. It's happening. Like, what is going on? So in theory, this is the first time I'm back on the MT125 since my little incident I had in the car park where I, I threw myself at that, over the handlebars. Yeah, wasn't my best, best plan that I've ever come up with. I've installed some shorty levers or a shorty lever because the brake side didn't fit. But the clutch is so, so nice to use with the shorty levers. And I didn't really want to take it off. I need to get a matching pair, it's just really weird because your left side with your clutch is shorty and then when you're braking you've got a full length on it and it just looks really weird as well. But yeah, I don't really know where to start. I'm doing a lot of commutes at the moment but they're really short, they're just short, sharp, A to B, 10-15 minutes journey. To be honest, by the time I gear up, I spend more time doing that than I do on the actual journey itself. But at the end of the day, you know, you dress for the slide, not, not the weather, not the ride, full gear regardless doesn't really matter to me are you coming over to the right you're indicating to the right you're not coming over to the right is this light gonna mug me off told you it was anyway we're gonna have a real quick interval or well, not that you guys are gonna notice it but i'm gonna quickly shoot to the gym but we'll be back on the bike shortly and we will pick up where we left off. I see a few motorbikes. What have we got today? We've got a scooter. It looks like a Raiju Supermoto with L plates. 50cc? 50cc. Goodbye, motorbike. All right, well, and we are back. And Evo is faffing around as normal. Not gonna lie, I'm uh, well and truly completely exhausted now. That's probably the worst bit about the gym is the ride home. Right, let's do this. Listen to this baby purr. So I might try and take, well, no, I am gonna take a different journey home to try and mix things up because when you do the same journey day in day out it just gets it gets so boring and repetitive the only way i can explain it, it's sort of like a motorway you just feel like you're going the same direct well you are going the same direction evo rambles in the night that would be an appropriate title for this video wait i'm not actually too sure where this goes uh so tomorrow's Friday, which is a pretty big relief because it means it's the weekend. Bearing in mind that I work Monday to Friday, I literally live for my weekends. If I didn't have my weekends, well, I wouldn't have any sanity at all. I mean, I don't have much sanity, but literally I would lose it if I didn't have my weekends. I seem to be spending my weekends working on the car a lot at the moment. Um, but as soon as the car's sorted, the next project's gonna be the bike recently purchased myself a shed, truly just like a log cabin, um, 
we had to construct it we had to do all the flooring we've had to line all the roof and apart from that that was pretty much it besides painting it and then sorting out the inside which we are basically just stacked out with a load of metal racking and I want to try and get some sort of like workbench to go in there but at the moment it's pretty much just storing all my crap bike car well and tools the idea is maybe i'm not too sure how, how i feel about this but i'm tempted to actually put a bike in there for the winter um for two reasons it means i don't have to freeze my nuts off from riding the ice and snow so a makeover if you want to know what your bike could look like in white just wait for it to snow guys cheaper option but yeah so i got a ride to work this morning i've got about half an hour hopefully the road shouldn't be too bad when we get out of here hoping it's about that's well slippy and it would give me the opportunity to literally strip this down to bare bones to frame clean everything change anything without the concern of oh you know the bike needs to be back on the road by this day because i need it for this or i need it for that there literally won't be any of that stress because it's going to be in the dry everything's going to be stored in the shed and i'll have the car but at the same point that means not riding which makes me very 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 sad and before we know it it will be 2017 and it will be onto the big bike, which is pretty insane. Now, do you remember how I said like this GoPro from experience isn't great at picking up the video during the night? So why on earth did I choose the country lanes that have got no road lighting? I've been really enjoying this nice weather, but I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get like storms for the next few days. That's pretty much what happens in the UK. You have a few nice days of weather. And then it just goes from one extreme to another. Red stop sign. I hope you've enjoyed nighttime ramblings with Evo on the MT125. It's really great to be back on the bike. There'll be plenty more videos to come soon. Ride safe, stay awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one.